What is up, DG Army? Netherwood Austin was John coming at you with more endless space. Finally, my empire is rocking socks, pretty badass, and I'm taking out these uh, light green guys kind of slowly but surely. I'll be moving another fleet in here to start helping me blockade and take other stuff out uh, as I roll through here. And f you know, yeah, I probably should just leave my main guy with this fleet and not put any more Denzine destroyers in there. Also, I'm going to be moving out. Let's do an end turn. Moving out my taser. My Taser fleet finally got formed up with a mass ship. Again, I need to know. Go to the previous episode, or one of the previous episodes. I need to know what I need to name my invasion ships, because I need invasion ships really bad. Um, I cannot wait any longer. Also, I need to know how to kill this guy. I don't have open borders with this guy, and he flew through my systems. Maybe he's stuck here now. That would be sweet. But how did he do that in the first place? Yeah, he's stuck there now. All right, whatever. All right, Taser Fleet, riggedy rowl, son. Let's go here. Oh, man, can't make it there yet. Okay, let's just end turn. Everybody's good to go. Can't wait to attack these guys. Let's see what they've got. Because I think my fleet's pretty... Should be bigger than whatever they have. 2,300's their biggest, huh? What's mine? What's mine? 4,100. Yeah, I think I'm good. Alright, it's time to attack. We're gonna go here. Nice! Oh my god! Holy crap! Maybe I don't want to attack. <laughs> oh my god, did you see that? I think I can do it. Maybe I should switch out my main guys or something. Can I? I can! Now what do I got? Still 4,100. What? Well, that guy is so beast, it won't even matter. Alright, let's put let's put the rookie on this ship. Nice, there we go. Alright, so this could be bad for me. This could be really bad. I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, should I move another fleet into there? No, because then I'll get this kind of thing happening again. Another taser, so we need to start making another taser fleet here. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Yeah, you know what? That's why they're building up so much. They're not fighting anybody else. This is going to be hard to beat. Let's do it, though. What's the point, right? Might as well do it. Might as well have some fun. And hold on. Okay, I tried to click off again and it crashed because I didn't start a timer, so I don't know. It didn't crash, I just, again, I couldn't get back into the game. The game wouldn't show up. And I'm, it's probably, some of that is because I'm playing in full screen mode because windowed mode, uh, you can't see enough of the screen. I don't like it that way. Um, what does this guy need to build here? Tiny, small, tiny. I think I already built that one. Yeah, that one's done. No, he has no trade. Distance bonus on star system? That could help. It's Duri Doyle, right? So it should be able to it should be able to do that. Everybody's super happy now, huh? Weird. <clears throat> well the trade route thing's not gonna really help. Um Weird, I thought I could build some more money things here. I don't have any moons. So that's kinda pointless. What's this guy gonna build? More ships? Just more, more, more ships? Hmm. Maybe I should try this. I'll try this one and see what happens. Zero current trade routes. Well, I'll try that. I want to see what happens with that. Got another mash ship here, which would be good. I'm forming another, um, another, uh, taser fleet. Let's do a moon survey. And then we're going to do... Hmm. Yeah, see, that's good. And dust load is good, too. So we don't need that, either. I wonder if I need... Is there a new... Nope, there's no new. I need to get better exploitations. I keep saying that, and I keep not doing it. Um, Could do this. They're really unhappy. Let's do that. Alright, let's move that mass ship out. Okay. Not really having any more tasers being built. Oh, there's a couple, huh? Yeah, I don't need this. Because they're ecstatic. Look at that. It can't even get any better. This is a really insane system. 
The ability to spy on all fleets orbiting the system, you should be able to anyway. Wow, I have four trade routes going now. Nice. What's this do? Oh yeah, small and tinies, I don't need that. Could just do this. That gives... Yeah, that, let's do that. That's for my shipyards, right? No. No. And no. So, I am a little worried about this, but I think with the guy that I have on there now, see, 4,500, I think he's going to be good. I think he can put this thing on lockdown. Um, I'm going to go to war with him. I think I should move another fleet out over there, and I'm going to do that soon because my fleet is going to get hurt. He does have a mash ship in there, but that's actually not going to help him that much because it, it helps heal, but the problem really is... Uh, well, and these are rookie ships. It's not like these ships over here. Let's look at this Denizen Destroyer, level 7. You know, he's got, uh, what's he got? 2,900 hit points. This guy should technically have more, but he doesn't. 2,500, okay? Because these guys are so level, they've been fighting so long. Um, and these guys are going to fight too, so we're going we're to do that. But first, I'm going to save... Just, just in case. Actually, I'm moving up the list. Nice. The sowers and the cravers are getting jacked, apparently. Obviously, the sowers are getting juiced because I'm taking over their planets. So let me do a save real fast. Just, just because. You know what I mean? Just in case. It's been a long time since I've had a save. Okay, so here we go. It's time to attack. This could be not a good thing. Let's see. Green guys, right? They're happy. You're about to not be happy. Declare war. Ha-ha! Now we're at war, son. Now I can... It I can't attack? How come? They get the first attack, huh? Jerks. Oh, cool. They're attacking me. Oh, that's not that bad. 2,300 fleet, and I uh, have quite a bit of uh, advantage on him. Nice. So I'm going to start out first. <laughs> nice, look at that, sis. That, look at that fleet. Um, how about... Kinetics. No, let's go with uh, the tactics. And then we're going to go with tactics again. And then we'll go finally with heal. Because I think we're going to need to hit these guys hard. Yeah, they got a cruiser. There we go. Look at the lasers going out there, man. Tasers in your face! Not as much damage as I would have hoped on their ships. Really, I think the missiles are a lot better. But again, these guys are much, much better at the closer range, at the mid-range. Didn't really take a lot of damage. Took quite a bit of damage, more than I'm used to seeing anyway. Knocked out quite a bit of their stuff. The cruiser is not really hurt that bad. Okay, a couple more of his ships going down there. Again, not really as good as I thought it would be. But then again, these guys are not that great. It should be able to take him out on the... Yeah, okay, there he is. He's dead. On the third phase... On the second phase, took him out. Nice. So it should be able to repair up with my nano card here. Oh. Didn't get the last phase, huh? Okay. No repairs for me. But that's okay. They're going to attack again, I'm sure. All right, let's do this. See, a little more, more chance for victory because I'm hurt a little bit. So this could be bad for me. They could just whittle my fleet down a lot. I'm going to go with nano a lot on this one. I'm going to go with tactics and then double nano because I need to repair my ships. I probably should have gone with all, all repair. 25% weapon damage, right? Yep, 20% defense efficiency. So what's he got in here? Mainly destroyers? Okay, yeah, those guys have no hit points, so... This shouldn't be a big deal. So I canceled out his nano card. The only issue really is with having four attacking ships is it takes longer for me to take out these smaller fleets because I can only attack one ship at a time. But having that nano card is going to pretty much bring my fleet all the way back up to speed unless they use a tactics card, which they don't. So healed up my guys really nice just now. My mash ship is also helping me heal. Taking these guys out without a problem. 
I think the only time I'm really going to have an issue is if I fa face a lot of cruisers, kind of like what I'm putting at these guys. So that should take them out, no problem. I should get another nano phase, I hope. Yeah, nope, they didn't give me another nano phase. That's okay, I got mostly repaired. That should help. I'm going to be fighting tons of fleets here, so... Hopefully, I got to keep these guys repaired. That's that's the way it works. This guy got leveled up. Oh, dismiss. All right, manual. Oh, God, you're throwing these, like, nobody fleets out of me? Okay. So, so far, I've fended off two of their nice fleets. Let's see what they can throw at me here. And I'm doing pretty well. This is a really tiny fleet, so I'm going to go with all healing. Just to make sure I heal up and stay healed. These are not large fleets. When I fight the bigger cruiser classes, I need to go for more damage. Because they have a lot more hit points. The lasers are not doing that well for me yet. I think it's because I actually had better missiles than I do lasers. But I can upgrade these guys when I start pumping out more money. I'm just going to upgrade my tasers to massive taser. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Probably like... Police tasers or something. I have no idea. <laughs> Um, what do you think about this taser fleet, though? I'm not all that impressed. I kind of think the missile fleet was a little bit better. Um, going with four missile boats instead of four laser boats. But they're, again, better at the medium range. It's just nice when the long range when you take out half their fleet, you know what I mean? Looks like they're all getting taken out here. I should get another phase for nano. But it doesn't matter. I'm full hit points anyway. Who cares? No, I think I'm just going to win with no extra phase. Oh! Yes, I am going to need an extra phase. Nice! Make sure I'm totally healed up. Man, that nano card's like almost... Almost cheating, kind of. Because <laughs> it's percentage-based. It's too awesome. Alright, my, also my fleet has leveled up. Again, I probably got another fight, but let's... Yep, here's another fight. They're just throwing trash at me now. I'm waiting for these big fleets to come in. I mean, those fleets could tear me up. If they send those guys in. If they wait and let me level and stuff, they're not gonna. it's not going to really help. Again, uh, this fleet's just like, what's the point? Let's just do nano. They're just helping me level now. Oh, a cruiser, huh? Oh, well. You shouldn't put a cruiser with these little tiny ships and send them in. It's just like asking to die. So, first offensive against the... Dark green is going pretty well so far. Haven't really sustained any damage even. Um, not real happy with the laser damage. Again, at the long, I'm used to long range damage, but uh, we'll see how it works at the medium range. It seems like the damage is a lot better. It's still good damage. It's just not as much alpha as I'd like. So took him out in in the first phase pretty much. I did pretty good. Pretty good. Staying plenty healed up, which I think is the whole point to this. Of course, I got my level 20 Admiral in there. He's insane. No problem. I might even want to go for the next hull size, even. You know, have one of those huge Gigantor Juggernauts or something in there. Alright, so he's pretty much given up the system to me. Let's level my guy before he tries to attack again. Um, what the hell? I probably should get that. What? 25% hero offense and defense attributes during a battle if the enemy has a hero. That could be good, because I have not come up against any other heroes yet. Let's do that. I'm going to pick that one first. Another level up. I'm going to pick this one. Give him even more insane. Another level up. Hmm, that could be good. Because then I can see every everybody that's trying to mess with me. Yeah, let's get that. Another level up? Jeez. Alright. What the heck? What is going on here? Okay, all the level ups are done. Took out four of his fleets. Galactic Leaders, your hero has reached a level of experience and ability that few in the galaxy can hope to match. Use their talents wisely, for they will be your tools to shape the, the future. Yeah, no kidding. Just juicing fleets left and right, man. 
Another level up? No, he's done leveling up. Alright. What's this? War has been declared. Yep, I'm jacking you fools up. Can't take over the thing. I need a colony ship in there. Maybe I should produce one real fast here. Let's see, anybody not have anything to do? Nope, everybody's pretty busy. Oh, you don't have anything to do. Let's make this guy make a colony ship. Wow, this guy's a nice powerhouse. Let's see if I can get some... some money here. Can't I, uh... Um, in system colonization... Oh, I haven't colonized it yet. Let's do all these moon surveys because, uh... Uh, oh, long season, huh? Oh, that's not good. Let's get all of these moon survey things done. Oh, oh, exploitation? What's this, an arctic? Science is great. I really need money. I need a better money. I guess science. Because I really need a better money, though. Um, anybody else with a moon? Not really. Tundra, desert. Alright, you're going to money. Let's see, geo plan. You can go to food. He's got lots of food output. You don't really need any more. Yeah, he doesn't need any more, but jungle plus one. Hmm. Okay, cool. He's good to go for now. So I'll build a colony ship soon. Alright, so I'm jacking these fools up. Let's see what I got over here. I thought I just moved another taser in here. I did. Oh, it's a mash. Okay. Let's put that mash with this taser fleet here. And that's the main dudes chilling here. Cool. I'm glad I didn't have to go to war with those guys. I don't know how they even got through my systems. Alright, let's do an end turn. Once I get that other taser fleet up, I'm gonna I'm gonna come take out the, the light green guys. I need to get rid of those guys. That way I can focus more on these uh, the new war I've got with the with these uh, dark green guys. Let's just wait. I'm sure they're gonna move some more fleets in. They're gonna throw everything they got at me. This is the only system they can go through. Um, I mean, technically they can warp, but I don't think they have warp, and they're not gonna warp into these guys' systems. So their attitude has changed to hatred. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, empty moon. That's fine. It's not really useless rock because. Uh, I can use that to my advantage. Alright, so Hamal needs something to do. Where is Hamal? Oh, here you are. Build me... Wait, isn't this this um, explored moon thing? Oh yeah, it's not going to help me out a lot. Build me a colony ship, bro. Alright, cool. They haven't moved in yet, huh? Interesting. So, taking a long time to invade that, that area right there. That's kind of the way it is. So, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to keep blockading the system until they throw everything they've got at me. And then I'll start walking down here and taking them out. They're pretty tiny, so it shouldn't take that long, really. Um, I'm just kind of waiting for them to throw more fleets at me. Um, I should even have an easier time now that my guy's leveled a little bit. And my ships have leveled. Uh, now they're level... Wow, level 7 already? So yeah, these these guys are big now. Um, 5,200 point fleet now. Yep, moons are empty. Why does it keep saying that? Is there? Can you ever get something cool off that or something? Micra needs something to do. All right, now I can build this. Right, that should be big time for me. Then I'll do science. Don't really have. Oh, I have tiny, small, small. I guess that would be a good idea. This is probably even better. And this would be good. Influence area. Let's do influence. Let's make sure they like me, and then we'll do that. Okay, he's got plenty of stuff to do now. And nobody else really needs it. Okay, and turn. Okay, here's a big fight now. Oh, okay, it's sowers. And the reason why this is not is going to be as easy is because I got this kind of noob helping me out here. Probably should move, put him on the taser crew because those ships are just a lot better. But this shouldn't be really too hard or anything. Let's go with um, offense and then we're going to go with nano. I might lose a ship or so just because they do are bringing in some firepower. 
But this fleet is not that big a deal. Oh, they've got a hero. All right, all right. Interception is the name of this fleet. Well, I think you're going to get juiced, bro. Oh, that's that card where my missiles won't do as much damage, I think. Or they have uh, anti... Better to the anti-missile defense, but still gonna, they're going to get taken out. I'm not really worried about it. Although my destroyers are kind of weak on hit points, so... Yeah, see that one destroyer getting hit pretty hard? It's a good thing I'm doing heal in the next round. But Tick got a lot of their ships. Yeah, I get healed up just fine right there. Almost a full. So their, their hero is going to be injured now. Which I'm glad they didn't send a really big hero in there, because they probably would have taken me out. But my newbie is going to be a little bit better now on uh, fleet maneuvering and stuff. And I'm going to give him a little bit better of a fleet. This is kind of my first fleet that I started attacking with. I still haven't really lost anybody in this fleet. And that's why this fleet's never really changed much. But uh, destroyers are really not my thing anymore. They're too tiny. so Because they just can't... They don't have the carrying capacity. They are one point per ship. But I think I can load more stuff on the two-point cruisers. It just feels like I can anyway. We can probably pump those destroyers out a lot faster, I think, is why they do that. So he gets juiced, and he's probably going to attack me again. If not, I'm definitely attacking him. All right, so they're sending in some dudes. Yep, here we go. This is going to be a lot harder. Five cruisers and a destroyer. And you know what? That is what I should have done. Put a destroyer with him. I have one next, more, more space. This is going to be tough. I don't know if I can beat these guys. So we're going to go with offense. Then we're going to go with nano, nano. Because I'm going to need to heal a lot. I should have went with offense, offense, nano, I think. But I don't know. I'm. I've, this is the biggest fleet I've ever fought. So we're going to see how this works. Okay, getting some good damage on them. Not a lot of damage. But again, lasers, there's not just one shot like there are with missiles. There's one salvo, and that's all you get. Um, so here comes their main strike on me. It looks like they're heavy on missiles here. Ouch. Hurting me quite a bit right there. I'm glad I picked Nano as the next phase. My mass ship, oh, healing us up perfectly. No problemo. You guys are going down. If I got this much healing, you guys are going down. Yep, cruisers are dying off left and right right here. Especially since mid-phase, medium phase is the best for lasers. I'm definitely going to win this fight now. There's no way they can win. They're down to the last cruiser. Once I beat their initial set of... Uh, oh, good. I Not only did I get my nano, I also phased out their card there, defeated their card, and once I get rid of their initial waves of fleets, I'm going to be... It's going to be no problemo. It's going to be totally easy. I should rename this fleet, though. Theta is kind of a dumb name for a fleet. Another fight? Ooh, another big, tough fight for me. No, I'm still not that worried about it. It's just kind of a big fight. We're going to see how it goes. As long as I don't lose one of my cruisers, that should be good. I cannot lose one of these cruisers. So they're going to be warping in in a second here. Let's pick my uh, ultimate defense. I don't need that. I need Nano Nano. That way, that uh, tactics keeps my damage good at the longer ranges to try to take them out early. But then the Nano keeps my ships up to keep fighting. So he's going with defense. I think it's missile defense, though, so it's not going to help me. Because I used to have more missile boats, I think, is probably why I did that. Cruisers, they're getting some heavy damage. And their missiles are coming in. Probably going to hurt me pretty bad. They are getting hurt real bad. They haven't lost anybody yet. Kind of hoping they lose somebody soon. Either, okay, here's where they're going to lose people. But they get another shot with all their missiles. Heal, my heal bots keeping me up. And cruisers getting taken out left and right again in the mid phase where lasers are, are awesome. And that's the end, the end of those guys. And he's dead. And this guy is going to be pretty much dead. Nice. Love when I see me taking down these bigger ships. And the last nano phase gets me back up to full health. Nice. Also canceled out two of their cards again. 
cool. So this fleet's doing really well. Um, they're leveling up real nice. Getting lots of action. They're probably going to get attacked again. Let's get rid of these. Not going to attack me, huh? Alright, well, I'll be attacking them in a second. Especially since I don't want them to get through this blockade. Oh, this is not even going to be a problem. How is this even a 2300 point fleet? This is all, like, destroyers and stuff. This is weird. Three destroyers. Oh, they're leveled at... Not really leveled. Three destroyers and two defenders? Alright, let's just go all nano. Oops. Yeah, I don't need EMP. Huh. So there we go. Lasers coming in on all sides. Looks like they're pretty heavy lasers as well. They're a big laser fleet. But destroyers don't just don't have the hit points to compete against these cruisers. It's just not happening. So they're going down fairly quickly here. Obviously my mass ship is not really fighting, but it's keeping my fleet sealed up, and that's the whole point. Man, my fleets are insane. I don't even think I've really lost any battles in like I don't know how many episodes, you know? Probably since those I think only the pirates really ever given me any problems. Probably need to bump it up to normal on the next game that I play through. Uh, the next playthrough. So he's di oh, level 20 might be the highest level, huh? Could they not level anymore? I don't know, let me look. Can he level? No, he can't. Level 20 is the highest he'll ever get. Okay. Cool. Completed. Con so those things I had, those leveling ones are really not even needed. Totally unnecessary. All right, so how's this taser fl fleet going? Not that good. Am I not building? Yeah, I haven't been building ships in a while. That's why. You have discovered a temple on the moon circling planet Sirius IV. Nice. Seduced by the glory of architecture and design, the Brotherhood left many sites across the galaxies that contain deeply cherished secrets of, of process produ production and polish. 10% on star system. Nice. Dang, dude. Okay, I need to put some exploitation on this guy, too. Let's see. Probably gas helium, right? Yeah. Gas helium. Go for science, bro. This is really a really insane area uh, play. Oh, really unhappy? Damn. Okay. And dual hem. Okay, a lot of people don't have anything to do. What's this guy doing? Can't colonize. That's right, I don't really know what to build with this guy. I have increased trade route range, and I've got no trade routes. So maybe I should sell that, or scrap it, whatever. Is this it? Nope, that's just a mon money improvement. It's this. Scrap. Oops. Yeah, scrap that. It's not really helping me. Okay, so they're pretty happy here. Let's get some more tasers going, I guess. Let's get like two tasers out of this place. Uh, let's see. Who is not... Oh, Hamal's not... Okay, here we go with Hamal. Let's see. So that moon... moon okay, that's in... These moons have been calling... Or empty moon and empty moon, I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Now we can do this. Oh no. Don't have enough people there. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We can colonize this, I guess. Let's see. What else do I need? I need to do something else here. This is not enough stuff. Alright, let's do that. Oops. We're almost at the end of this episode. So I think this is going pretty well. I'm glad I attacked these guys again. Okay, their big fleets are finally starting to die down. Once I get through their initial fleets, they're pretty much going to be done. I do need to move... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this other Denzian destroyer fleet in. Just to start colonizing other other systems. It's taking too long. Um, okay, that's good. So I'll probably park him here and start getting this one. You know, start taking these guys out. So that looks good. Let's go to another end turn. This is probably going to be our last turn. Looks like I'm, I'm, my money is going down again. That's fine, I'll change that. Oh, I can't even end the turn until I do that. Okay. 
so there we go people are really not happy with me it's probably the expansion thing or something I need to get I'm getting some more happiness stuff in there but you know it's just not happening yet it hasn't happened yet so what are you gonna do all right so negative 20% industry cost of improvements nice okay cool open border no we don't want that tons of production going on leveled up this guy nice let's see uh, negotiator to what what plus two percent trade route bonuses nah offense no dust and science 50% food on blockaded system oh okay that way if I get blockaded I'll still get a good good amount of food coming in let's go with money and science again need a lot more money so he is leveling up fairly nice oh I'm block I thought I was blockading the system I am where's my extra uh... oh here it is colony ship create colony fleet and go here okay so I should be able to colonize that I need to colonize all these systems I can't I need every system so I'm gonna pick up that system in a couple turns might as well attack this guy I guess let's go manual this is gonna be the last couple of fights here probably gonna do a couple fights and then we'll call it good um, so really the name I need and you need to go back to the to the original uh, episode I said this on, I think it was like a couple ex episodes ago. I need to know what to call my invasion uh, invasion ship. Also, I'm gonna need an, uh, I'm gonna need some some better uh, laser ships. The the lasers are doing good, but I don't know. Maybe I didn't put enough lasers on them, or I didn't put big enough lasers. That's probably what it is. I need a Mark II already for the taser ship. Um, I need better lasers. I'm gonna go after that next. So my lasers hit a lot harder because they, these lasers are just not working out. These missiles are tearing people apart. So even though they take a long time to get there, they still just trash people. So I like seeing that better. I mean, look at that. Of course, these are tiny ships, but still. So I did get my. Oh, he canceled my nano. So let's do one more fight. I think this guy's gonna level. You know what it is? It's because my heroes are leveling so much. It's like taking all my money away. That's probably why I'm not making any money. Let's go with one more fight right here. Alright. Yeah, I think his fleets are pretty much dying out. Couple of... Three cruisers in this fleet. Definitely a lot more military or better off militarily than the, the light green guys. But I've been pounding on those guys for a while. So it could be just because... Um, you know, they, these guys have had more time to build up. So this time I'm attacking them, and I'm going to go with staying repaired. Actually, no, I don't need that because... Aw, oh, crap. Oh, well. Canceled out their... Oh, I don't even have missiles, so cool. <laughs> I wonder if this repairs me while I'm getting damaged, though. Because it's kind of pointless if you don't have damage on your ship to get to use that card, I guess. So they're getting taken out. Again, lasers not all that impressive, the long range. But as the medium range comes in, again, canceling the air card, lasers become a lot more deadly. You can see melting their ships down quite fast. The short range, again, lasers are not as effective. But they're, see that? They just got hit, almost taken out in one shot from those lasers. Nice. Do I get my nano phase? I don't think I'm going to. Nope. That's okay. I really didn't take much damage anyway. So these guys are leveling very fast. They're level 8 now, I think. Or they're level 12 or something like that. They're ridiculous. Pretty much, hands down, got this thing under control here. Could start attacking, but that'll let them allow them to move in on me. So I'm not really in too much of a hurry there. So yep, took him out. Took them out. My guy leveled to go with probably with defense. Cool. And that's going to do it. Let me know what you guys think about this series. Again, let me know what you think about 
having one episode on each of the Dungecraft days and then probably an extra one on like Friday or something like that. Because I think it's better than two per day on two different days of the week. It helps me split it up a lot more. Anyway, let me know what you think. Later, dudes.